Okay, here we are back in our mock event, Awesome 40K. And we're gonna simulate a scenario where we accidentally had a wrong score submitted for round two, making the round three pairings incorrect after we've already hit next round. So we can fix that. We'll simply go to our reset button here, start from the beginning all over. We're just gonna reset round two after we make an adjustment. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to our pairings with inside the TO side. We'll go to round two. And perhaps George actually, it was George that lost and will be victorious was the winner. The scores were reversed. So we'll put in four for George and 50 for will be victorious, hit save. And now that we have that accurately displayed, we can just hit reset, go to round two, hit reset, put you back at round two with the score submitted the way they were, hit next round. And then now you have a new round three pairings with the accurate pairings up based on the score. And we can see here that if we go to the tournament results, that now instead of George being number two, just incredible is going against Cat Amazing because they're first and second, that would be the top table. If we go to our pairings, we can see that round three, that was accomplished. On the second table there is Cat Amazing and Just Incredible. So reset all isn't the only way to adjust the pairings. Best Coast Pairing is great about also being able to manually change the pairings up or even move people's tables around with inside the app. Here we have a mock event. We're going to go to our pairings where we're in the round one and the pairings have began. Let's say that Yonder's Rick needs to play John Wolf, table one to table three. So we will simply switch Yonder's with Gerald and be able to get that achieved. So we're going to hit the table icon and then we will select the three vertical dots that are common throughout the app we need yonders to switch with gerald i believe so we simply select gerald hit save and now it is accomplished and when we back out of this section here now we can see that yonders rick is indeed with john on table three okay so let's say that we want to switch what table that they're on they need to be on table two so we'll select the table once further and this time instead of selecting the vertical dots next to the player names we'll select it down by the save button when we hit that, you can see it offers change tables. We can change the table and move it over to table two. Submit and check it out. Our friends are now hanging out on table two. So you can see that very easily, you can manually adjust your pairings together and you can move the tables that people are assigned to. Awesome. Okay, here we are back in our mock event, Awesome 40K. And we've just completed the second round and went into the third, but what do you know? One of the players had to get out of there due to a family emergency. You have to drop a player. So it looks like Matt the man can't stick around, unfortunately. So we're gonna go ahead and go do that process. We're in the roster side of the event page here. And we're gonna click on Matt the man's name there. And you can see right next to where it says save on the three vertical dotted lines. We're gonna hit that guy and we have our options here where we can one, count them as not being checked in. We can drop them, we can remove them from the roster entirely. Let's hit the drop player section here. It asks if we wanna drop them. We give the yes and then that player is now showing as dropped in the application now when we go to our pairings we're already into the third round with him being paired we're going to need to hit reset reset round two where it'll take us back to where we were with round two with the score submitted but now we have our drop player involved when we hit next round it'll keep in mind that that player has dropped as we go forward you can see that the players are matched up and as on number table number four there roger does not have an opponent being that they dropped and you would handle the buy as has been predetermined by the tournament organizer or perhaps you have a substitute player that will complete complete the match with Roger there. If you accidentally did this by mistake, no worries. You can see that you can undo the drop if necessary. Let's say it's the day of the event and you have a player that couldn't make it to the event even though they pre-registered. In order for them not to be incorporated into the pairings, we can simply click on their name, go to the three vertical dots next to the save icon, and we can just remove them from the roster. Once that is done, now they won't be involved with the pairing system and we're good to go.